Hey Royals, or welcome to our team kit class for June. Today I'll be using the All for Baby stamp set by Stamping Up and showing you how to make four cards, two of which are the same design but just different colors. Go to Whole Life Flip and I'll get started. All right, there we go. Sorry about that long flip weight. Sometimes my fingers are a little bit too cold and it just doesn't let me flip as fast as I would like. Let me just make sure we're nice and centered and you guys can see everything okay. All right, I'm so excited to share with you these cards today. I have a very limited amount of baby cards and so I really wanted this stamp set for this reason to fulfill my need to have baby cards on hand because you never, well, you have like a nine month warning, but a lot of times I invite to a baby shower and I will have to make a card up really quick using retired items. But now I'm gonna have a nice stockpile of these great cards and show you some fun techniques to use with them. First off, let me show you a little bit about the stamp set. I told you I'm using the All for Baby. It has these really great images. It is the distinctive style of inking or stamping and so you can kind of look at this image right here and tell that it looks like it has like different shading on it. And that's pretty much how it turns out when we stamp it. It makes it with one stamp, you'll have the darker circles in there and on his face and on his ear, which is stamping it once. It's pretty amazing. Same with the outfits and the bib. These other parts are little accessories that you can use to put on your onesies and on your little outfits and they have dies for those. This image right here, I have to show you that really quick. I had no idea what this was for the longest time until I looked in the catalog and saw an exam example with it. And I was like, oh, that's what it is. So if you're questioning that, what is that with me, those are little pockets for the cute little outfit right there. And it also has a die and it comes with two at a time. So let me show you the dies for this one. A lot of them cut out the stamped images here. And then we have some extras. So we have this bib is an extra, the hangers, the pins, this onesie right here as well. Those do not have stamp images, but just cut out nicely by themselves. The cool thing about them is that they also have this little stitch line on the bib and on the onesie. So it gives that extra detail and is pretty awesome. All right. I think that's it I want to tell you for the stamp set. Um, it's a great deal too. I think it's under $40. I should have checked the price before I came on. I'm so sorry. Um, but let me show you. This is the bib. We're not using that on ours today. So I just wanted to have an example out so you can see how cute and little that little bib is. Super, super cute. All right, so I'm using paper that will be retiring here by the end of June. It's part of the mini catalog and it's called the Hydrenia Hill DSP. This paper I love because it has some really great baby colors is what I want to call them, like the pinks and the purples and the blues. However, because I'm using this DSP, it has colors that have actually already retired. So this is the Rococo Rose and this is the Seaside Spray. And those are two colors that are no longer in the catalog. So if you don't have these card bases or ink colors, you could substitute them for a different shade of pink and a different shade of blue and that would be totally fine. All right, let me go ahead and get started. Let's do the two for one first. So this one is exact same card, but we just changed the color. And I have used the teddy bear because he's a pretty neutral guy and he can go on both and he has no gender preference. <laughs> However, we did attach a cute little bow to them to make it so you could tell that was for a girl and that's more for the boy. In the inside, we have stamped a hello little one and a cute little heart. And if you look at this, look at that. We have embossing right here on only half, which is pretty awesome. That's the 
tasteful textile embossing folder right there, which is a very subtle look. And so it helps to add without being completely wow. And it's not super bumpy. It's pretty flat. All right, let's go ahead and get these two in view. And we're going to make them at the same time. Let's go ahead and grab them. All right, so the, this one starts with a piece of card base that's gonna measure at four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. You have all these measurements on my blog and the links below later on. Um, so if you miss any things that I say today, feel free to click on that and you'll see them there. Um, but we do need to cut this in half and half of five and a half is two and three fourths. Let me grab my paper trimmer to show you. Get that in view real quick. And when you're cutting it, it doesn't matter which side at this point. So I'm going to go to the two and three fourths right there and just cut this part off. You can set this aside and use it for something else. On most cards I do like this, I usually would flip this and put it there. This time I've used this really cute scallop instead. To give it more of a baby look and that scallop came from the stitch so sweetly so let me grab all of our pieces so we have dsp we have a stitch rectangle our two dsps and our two scalloped ones as well these ones we'll need a stamp on and we're going to switch out one of these pieces so i use the floral one for this one but if i were to flip this one over you'll see that it's also a really great piece to use so we're going to use that one for the, today's card instead okay so we can go ahead and attach our dsp to the front of this card at the same time let's use a little bit of liquid glue If you see, that's where I got this light blue, it was the centerpiece of the back of this DSP, which is pretty fun. Okay. And this piece of DSP is two and a half by four inches. And let's go ahead and glue it on our blue. Let's get it down like, there we go. Okay, set those aside. Next, let's go ahead and stamp our parts that have been embossed already. You'll notice that if you look closely, I've used a little bit of a pencil and I've marked it where I was about the halfway point or a little bit more. You wanna make sure you go a little bit more just in case. You wanna make sure that it covers on the whole side here. Let me grab our foam mat and let's do some stamping. For the inside, we have it saying, hello, little one, and the cute little heart. I'm gonna use two different inks, so make sure you have something to wipe it off so it's the right colors. So Rococo Rose, which is that retired color. Let's do our hello, little one. We'll make sure that's straight. Awesome. And then we'll do the cute little heart. Perfect. Well, we have that ink out. Let's go ahead and stamp our scene for this one too. Which I have little hands, little feet, big love. We'll ink that up. For this one, we want it to go mostly just in this top left corner. Press down. Perfect. Okay, now we can put this color away and wash off our stamps and get ready for the next color, which is the Seaside Spray. And I just have a reusable wipe that I like to use. Um, Stampin' Up! sells the sham, which also works great. But I am I really have just preferred using that little wipe. All right. Let's do... Oh, I probably should wipe, wash that one too. The downside of the wipe is that you just make sure you have a cup or somewhere safe to put it. Because it is wet and you don't want it to touch any other papers. Okay, so that one's done. Let's grab our hello little one 
and ink that up. And go right about there. Oh, so that one got a little messy for me. You see that? I think it might be a little wet, so I'm gonna flip it over and let's make sure it's good to go. So we'll do a practice one. That turned out a little bit better. Let me see, one more time. Sometimes if you get it too wet, it doesn't collect the ink as well. Okay. Hello, little one. There we go, that looks better. And not as smudgy. We got our little heart. Super cute. And then we'll just go ahead and stamp that scene on this one as well. And if you're making this kit, you can switch out whatever scene you want to fit what you need. Awesome. All right, I think that's all of our stamping and all we have to do is just assemble. All right. I've never I've done two cards like this at the same time, so it's kind of fun and tricky. Let me put these pieces together so they're ready to go. And we'll do the blue one first. So for this one, what we do is just put a little bit of liquid glue on the back and attach it so that it's framing it like that. Then we already have our DSP, so we just need to go ahead and add our basic white for the inside. And what I like to try to do is line it up so that way the DSP in the front kind of matches along with it. There we go. You see how that lines up right there and there? I usually actually glue in this inside piece first, but it's up to you the order you do it in. All right, then we're gonna need some dimensionals. We're gonna put dimensionals on just half of our scalloped rectangle right here. I usually put about three and then try to get that centered. Just about like that. And then we have our cute little teddy bear and we're gonna attach him with a dimensional. We can do three on him cute oh my goodness isn't that bear just the cutest so I've already stamped him in the crumb cake and die cut him out and then we just need to add his cute little bow and then you could embellish this with pearls is a good one because that's fairly neutral in um, color or any other embellishments you think that would match great. I know the suite had also embellishments part of it that are pearls as well. But I think they're purple and pink pearls. If you have your stamping blends, you could even color the white pearls and make it match the colors as well. All right, there's our cute little blue bear right there. Love it. And let me go ahead and grab and we'll finish this one now. Same steps. So we'll attach our inside white. Flip that over. And the inside there. Smooth it out. Add our rectangle to our scallop. I was trying to find one that would fit perfectly in to this one and I just couldn't find the right size and so I end up just kind of really liking how it looked even though it doesn't mat it perfectly it still looks pretty awesome dimensionals on the back and we'll attach that to our front right about there and we just need our other crumb cake bear it was so cute. I've tried him in a couple other colors and I really do like him better in the browns because he is that distinctive 
style that some colors did not look good, oddly enough. And you'll find that sometimes it's either the stamp pad is just too juicy or wet and it makes it hard for it to stamp the right way. Okay, he just needs her cute little bow. I'll attach it there. Cute. And there we go. Little hands, little feet, big love. And hello, little one, with our cute little bear cards. Aren't those super fun? All right, let me go ahead and set those ones aside. And let's do our next batch. Let's do our thank you card. And the Knight of Navy card base. I just love this one. Let me get it close so you can see it better. This one has some great embossing. And this one was actually cased from the catalog. But I changed the colors completely to make it to match the DSP that I was using. So this is a DSP onesie. And these are just regular card stock ones. These ones we've glued on. And this one we've used a dimensional for. And then a thank you card. Because there's so many times at a baby shower that a mother would really like to have thank you cards. And this would be a perfect one for her to have. Of course, we have the white in the inside because of that dark navy base. Let's grab these pieces, and you'll see how easily this one comes together. In fact, I've done all the stamping already because I went ahead and I've embossed the thank you with white embossing powder and Versamark and our heating tool to do the thank you right there. And I did it on a long strip, so I had some more room to work with it, and now I'll just trim it to the size that I want it. Just like that. Awesome. Set that one aside. Let's go ahead and glue on our old, old Navy, <laughs> Knight of Navy embossed folder here. The paper, I should say. That's not the folder. This is the ornate floral embossing folder that carried over. And I'm so glad that it's still there into our annual catalog. It's just a very pretty subtle look and I love tone on the same color on same on color. So it's very subtle because we have it not on a different color image, which makes it fun. All right, let me go ahead and grab our dimensionals and we'll put this up, up first. Let's grab, you want at least five for this one. One in the center, two on both ends. There we go. Flip that over, put it in the center of our card front. And then if you have a silicone mat, grab that. They look like this, they're super flexible. Mine, you can see, is a little bit messy, but it makes it so that our Workspace does not get messy. So we're gonna flip over our onesies, so they're facing down, and we're gonna add our cute little hangers. For this part, I actually like to use our Stampin' Sill. I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive on each of the shoulders. Oh, just be careful not, not to get them stuck together. <laughs> this adhesive is really strong, which is great when you are using it to build things. Okay, so attach your hanger. Just make sure that this hanger line goes below the neckline. We don't want that showing through. And press it down. And press that one down. And the same for this. I just make sure that you're doing this one also facing down. And you can tell on the hangers, one will be a smooth side and one will be the bumpy side more so. All right, I'll attach that to that one. This one, we're gonna add a dimensional to. And these two, we're just gonna use some liquid glue. And then there's no rhyme or reason of what order you have them go on to yours. I had the purple one going first. Let's go ahead and switch it up though. We'll have the blue go first this time. I'll just put that in the center here and lay it down. 
Then we'll do our purple one. You want to have it just below so that hanger hook kind of looks like it's in the center of the onesie above it. And our dimensional here, our DSP one, isn't that so pretty? That's that hydrangeum heel DSP that's retiring. There we go. Super pretty floral print on there. And I find the smaller the um, DSP images, the better the onesie looks. But look at this one. This one has some really bright big on the other side. Some big floral images. And even that looks way cute. So I just think you can't go wrong when you're making onesies. There's so many design ideas. And with that stamp set, yeah, so see if I can find where I put it. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> right here. You can decorate your own onesie. So you can have a rainbow, you can have the star, the flower, um, the heart, whatever you want on the inside of your onesie. You can totally decorate it however you want. All right, so those are attached. And now we just need to attach our thank you. I'm going to use a dimensional for this one, but I'm going to place it right here. And so I'm going to put just one dimensional on this behind the U. Make sure it's the right way like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on this side. Because of our scalloped rectangle already has the dimensionals underneath it, we don't want it to be completely uneven. So I do it halfies like this. It makes it lay a little bit nicer. And there we go. Super cute onesie thank you card using the all for baby. All right. And that one was mostly dyes, right? So that made it really fun. We have one more to go. And this one is a really pretty one. Oh, I forgot that one. Don't forget to put your basic white in the inside. I'm going to slip it in there. We'll just, we'll just do it real fast. Because if it has that really dark inside, you won't be able to write on it unless you have a white pen. So let's put this in there so it's ready to go. And don't forget about it later. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, this cute card. Oh my goodness. Can we just talk about how cute this one is? I just love everything about this one. And this one was inspired by Brian King. He is a male stamper and just amazing, amazing, amazing demonstrator and who shares on Pinterest. And so I saw this layout and then changed the colors and changed the DSP with that same idea to have it on the clothesline and our cute little clothes pens. Let me go ahead and set that aside and we'll get our pieces ready. All right. So we have our inside for our white and we will stamp in there. The congratulations on your growing family. And I even threw in a cute little bib in the corner. Totally up to you. I just wanted to find a fun way to use that bib. And then I've already went ahead and I've die cut our cute little um, outfits here. And I use the Daffodil Delight, um, Highland Heather, and the Seaside Spray. If you don't have Seaside Spray, change it up for just another shade of blue. Balmy Blue or even Pool Party will work really great. Okay, set those ones right there. And next we need our DSP. So I use the striped one for this one, but I also have this really fun floral one here too. Let's go ahead and attach that to our card base with just some liquid glue. Like that. And then we are going to attach our white for the inside. Actually, we want to glue or glue. We want to stamp this part first because knowing me, I could mess up. And we also need to stamp this image as well. So I'm going to go ahead and throw our foam mat underneath my grid sheet. Because I might stamp off a little bit. Alright, so this one we need our saying on the top. The little hands, little feet, big love. And I'm using the Highland Heather for the color on this one. Make sure that's nice and clean and dry and let's ink that one up and go just about center top 
Awesome. And then what we need to do is also to stamp the inside, which has the congratulations. It says, congratulations on your growing family. Ink that one up. And stamp that one in. Perfect. I love that saying. Now we can attach this to the center or the inside of our card base. Move it just a little bit. See, so yeah, I went a little cricket, so I'm just going to lift it up and shimmy it. Luckily, I used my liquid glue, and so I had some extra time there. Okay. Let's put this ink away and grab our crumb cake. And we're going to use this to make our clothesline with. So our clothesline is just this very floppy looking piece. You can almost you can make it straight if you wanted to, and you can bend it any direction you want, which is pretty awesome. So what I suggest doing is to put it on face down, so if, as if you were to ink it, the shape that you want. Just like that. And that's why we stamped this one first so we had a reference of where we want this clothesline to be. You can even put these guys underneath to make sure that they have enough hang room. And it's okay if they go off your white a little bit because it's not off the card completely. Okay. Then we're going to grab our clear block and pick it up like that and then ink it up. Okay. And then we'll just go right about where we were and place it down. Kind of looks like a giant smiley face. I love it. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish up these cute little outfits. With our little extra pieces here. So I went ahead and I just die cut the heart for this one using the gorgeous grape. It's just a, just a darker shade of purple. I also have it in the star die cut. And if we were to put a little pearl in this one, it actually looks like a flower. So we're gonna do that for this one this time so I can kind of show you. Put a little bit of glue on that one and attach that piece there. And I'm just grabbing one of my white pearls and putting that in the center. And look at that, cute little flower. Oh, sorry I didn't press down hard enough. It's getting warm in my house so things are not sticking or drying as fast. I had closed all the windows so it wouldn't be too loud. I might grab a new one, hold on. So grab the pearl, stick it again in the center, and this time let's make sure we press it down. There we go. Now that will stick. Cute, cute, cute. Then we have for these ones the little pocket, which I've stamped and die cut. And again, that one does makes two at a time. So this was perfect. I was able to make two. If you don't want to stamp that because it's kind of a smaller stamp image, you could always just die cut it out just like I did with the purple one here using that same color of pocket. And then we have this cute little star. And we're going to put the star right here at the corner of where the material looks like it's gathered or folded together. Awesome. And next, we just need to liquid glue it. I like having the purple one in the center because it matches more with that purple card base that we're using. And you just want to have it so that these tips are right here on the clothesline. We're going to change this one up though, and I'm going to switch the sides. So we're going to have this one, the blue one on this side. And you'll see that it'll start to angle out. So it looks like it's hanging and kind of flying almost. And then we'll do the same for this one, just on the other side. Okay, next we have these cute tiny little clothespins, which I've made out of crumb cake cardstock. So let me grab those into the scene. They're gonna be a little tricky to grab. I might need to grab my take a pick tool or tweezers, but it'll help too. They're just so tiny and cute. And for them, I like to just do a dot on the corners of all the outfits of where we're gonna make it look like 
They're attached to the line and grab it and stick it on there. There's one. And these don't have to be straight. They can be crazy or they can be straight. <laughs> totally up to you. Stick that right there. You do need to allow a little bit of dry time since you're using the liquid glue. You could use a glue dot as well, um, but their glue dots are just a little bit bigger than this. You'd have to kind of curl the, or make the glue dot smaller by rolling it in your fingers. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is. So, so cute. All we have to do now is go ahead and flip it carefully and add dimensionals to the back. And then we'll attach that to our card. And this piece of basic white is a little bit smaller than usual because I wanted more of that DSP border. Let's see, it's like four and a half by three and a quarter. Okay, now attach that to the front of our card. And there we go, super cute card. The clothesline, oh, I think this one could possibly be my favorite. I don't know what you guys think. Super cute. So we have our clothesline baby card. We have our Knight of Navy thank you card with onesies and those cute hangers. And then we have the blue teddy bear and our pink teddy bear. Oh, these cards turned out way cute. And I haven't made baby cards in a long time. So I'm so happy that I got this stamp set and got a chance to play with it and hope you guys get it as well and it can play. Be sure to look in the description if you're watching this on YouTube later on and subscribe to my channel. Happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.